I'd like to talk about in this video is what I call modifiers, which is basically just simple materials that you can download directly from a substance source website. And they add additional layer of refinement and realistic detail onto your skin uh, without really much work. So as you can see, there are like stuff like skin cracks, uh, wounds, uh, freckles, which is absolutely great material, really speeds up the workflow. Uh, you can obviously paint freckles by hand, and this is what I used to do before. If you've seen my YouTube, uh, the YouTube video of the GDC presentation, where I go through my skin texturing process, you'll see me painting them by hand. But you can also download the freckles, the veins, the varicose veins, the sunburns, and effects like milia and keloid acne, uh, which helps the, to speed up the texturing process. So now that we're back in Substance Painter, uh, and we have our refined version of the skin, and here it is with the mod, uh, material mode, and as you can see, the this roughness is lowered down at this point, just to see what it looks like with a bit of specularity. It's at midpoint, so we're going to bump it up again to one to have a look, to have to go back to basically color work, and we're going to close our base colors and refinement layers and concentrate on. The modifiers. So uh, I created another folder in order to do this. And the process of uh, creating and working with these is fairly simple. So we're going to create another material, a new material, and put it quickly in our new folder. And we're not going to concern ourselves with any of the properties because we're not going to use the properties of that material, but we're going to replace it with a downloaded material. So we're going to search for the freckles to begin with. And now, as you can see, it was our base material was replaced with our freckles generator. And in that, you have a choice of a color color variation and other modifiers to work with. So I'm going to lower the scale first uh, in the tiling so we can actually see the freckles on the skin. You can see them appearing here. Uh, one thing that uh, is interesting is that when you increase the color variation slider, you'll see that they are way more visible and if you see a close-up look, they're very, very nice and dif they have different intensity of color and different shapes like the natural freckles. So it's not all the same spot all over the place. And when you play, play with the granularity, for example, you can have them looking more solid or more broken up and with rougher edges. Uh, when you play with the scale, of course, you can have them bigger and smaller. Here I bumped up the size and you can see that some of them are even merged together, which is pretty cool uh, effect as well. So let's change the color to something a bit more close to our skin a little darker, a bit more desaturated, and a bit more red to match the color of the skin that we made. So the, the thing I like to do is basically play with, the with those freckles as much as I can, first without mask, so you can see it all over the whole character. And then tone it down slightly in the opacity, adjust the color, and once I'm happy with these, then we can start painting them where we want them. So now I'm going to add a black mask again, the way we worked with uh, the base color materials. And just basically paint in the freckles only in the areas where we want them. So 
I'm not worried about them not being very uh, spaced close to each other. So you can see that they're very widely spaced. So there's some in some places, but in other places, there's almost nothing. Uh, the, the reason why I'm not worried is because I'm going to stack them up. So I'm not going to end up using just one layer. I'm going to be using multiple layers of these over and over again. So this is why I, I wanted on for this character in particular is a lot of freckles on his shoulders, the back of his head. So he looked a bit more like, uh, for example, in dogs, you have a lot of spots in some places. And now I just duplicated the layer that I've made and clicked on random in the seed. That way I have basically the same sort of freckles, but offset slightly. And I'm going to change their color, make it a bit more saturated and maybe a bit more yellowish in tone, in hue, and add a black black mask and again, so you can see that they're not overlapping the, the, the freckles that we already have there, but adding yet another layer to them. Another thing you can do is you can change the brush that you're using to paint them on. So if you use a brush that's like dirt, which is broken up, it also doesn't does add an, adds another layer of variation and unevenness to these freckles. And you, you can also use the freckles with the red color. And I think it's very cool when you use them with uh, to add redness to the face. For example, uh, look like rosacea on the cheeks, which is very spotted looking very often on some people. So I just use the red color instead of the usual brown that you would expect from the freckles. And again, you can see I stacked another layer, which is more yellow, another layer, which is more brown, and so on and so forth. So I have quite a few layers of these freckles, one on top of the other, in order to get the effect I wanted and I was happy with. And... Usually I would just export my maps every now and again and see what it looks like inside my renderer of choice and decide whether I want more or less. Now, another material that I really love in Substance Painter is the shaped hair material, which I use for stubble and short hair on top of the head. This is something that used to be really painful to make in the old days of texturing using photo photographs. You had to find really good pictures of hair or figure out some cool brushes in Photoshop. And with this material, you can basically just quickly apply it and changing the scale of the tiling, you can see it appear on your model. So one of the uh, modifiers in that material is the color variation. So you can choose your skin color, which for me in this particular case works very well as it is by default, it's a light skin color. And you can change your hair color. I wouldn't make it totally black because the hair is never like super black so this greenish tone actually works very well on his caucasian tone his skin tone you can change the hair length as well and rotate it in many directions so it's not always going in the same direction if you start layering up you can adjust the rotation from now and again for different parts of the body so i as you can see, I reduced the size of the, of the hair and the length of it. And I quite like this look. So now I can add a black mask and again, paint it in wherever I want it to appear on his face. So here in this case, I'm just doing a stubble where he shaped his face. So I turned off the material view and quickly went into the texture view to see what I'm doing better. And here I'm just rotating the hair. So it's, as you can see, it 
it doesn't look basically so straight down. That's what I didn't like about it. So I stacked this material the same way I stacked my freckles. I made several layers in order to add variety. Also, because I wanted more detail in his face, what I did with my UVs originally, as you can see here, I cut them up so that the face gets more real estate than the body, which means that in the seam area, there is going to be a difference in size. So you want to take that into account and maybe create another la separate layer for the area of the chest and separate layer for the face so that UVs don't look like they're mismatched in size and scale. Another material I really love is this uh, mole material, which basically creates really nice color varied moles with nice height modifiers too. So you can make it very uh, realistic and adjust the size, adjust the color variation and the roughness, the porosity of it. So it looks a bit more broken up. And once again, I'm just working on it with the white layer to see what I'm doing and then add a black mask, mask, I'm sorry, not layer, and add a black mask on top and just paint it in where I want it. So if you decide to use a height channel as well, you can export this in your normal map and it will look more interesting in the outside renderer. So for this character, I also added another layer of freckles on his nose because it felt a bit empty in comparison to the rest of him. And some acne on his chin. I definitely recommend that you check out the Substance Source website and make use of as many of the materials that are there. Uh, there is a wide variety of them, like I said, and they really bring life to your character and more believability without so much work. So this is it. Uh, we can move on to other maps now.